Hi everybody, this is Dennis and this is my review of the AccuPower IQ338XL Charger Analyzer. This charger is uh, relatively new, uh, a little bit difficult to find, uh, but it is one of the best chargers out there in my opinion uh, for the price. I mean there's a lot of things that it does, there's some things it doesn't do and I'm going to get into all that today. So. AccuPower first apparently is a company that is based out of Austria, but uh, the charger itself is made in China and um, And the instructions are Pretty much written like they were translation from some other language other than than English But they're still clear enough that you can understand it and, and make out what you need to do with it And really the operation of it is very much like uh, many other chargers out there of this type but it has some very cool capabilities that I'll get into. First, let me power it up here, uh, plug it in. Let you see the power on display as it, as it comes up there. And let it cycle through. And that's the display. It comes through as null. This charger does lithium ion batteries. I've got a, an 18650 cell here. This one happens to be unprotected. I've got a nickel metal hydride uh, AA in a loop here. And it'll do these uh, at the same time. And you plug them in, and it instantly analyzes it and uh, starts to look at the uh, the chemistry and figures out what the chemistry is and what charging cycles are available. And you can then set it into different modes. There, well, I wasn't fast enough. It went into the charge mode, but it also has a charge test mode and a discharge test mode. And it has variable currents for charging. Uh, here it defaults to 500 milliamp hours, or rather 500 milliamps for charging. And you'll note here too on the display where it says the 34 MR, that is the uh, internal resistance of the battery, which is something that on my old uh, PowerX MHC9000, uh, it didn't display the uh, internal resistance, but that's something that's pretty cool about this one. Also, you note the display went out after a certain period of time. That was also one of my complaints about the MHC9000 was that display, it stayed on all the time. So if you had it in anywhere where you were trying to uh, sleep at night, you had to cover up the display with something if you happen to be doing an overnight charging cycle. With just a note of safety there, I wouldn't recommend charging up uh, lithium ion cells overnight unattended. They really do need to be attended because there is some risk even though um, this particular charger uh, is supposed to recognize that and take care of those problems but here let me plug in a a double a uh, in a loop that's a nickel metal hydride chemistry and it notices that there's a new cell in there and i'll set this one to a discharge test and i'm going to set the uh, charge rate over here to a thousand milliamps and it has a uh, it has a, a really cool um, uh, series of features in that you can change the charge current anywhere from 500 to 700 to 1000 milliamps, which is really good. Now, it charges all different types of cells up to, you know, a D cell. Uh, the problem is, and you'll notice that there are 9 volt charging port, ports on here. And it's really good that it has 9 volt charging capability. And you think, oh, that's great. So I've got these uh, EBL lithium ion rechargeables that are um, that are very high power and, and seem to be pretty reliable that I'd like to charge. Can I charge them on there? No, you can't. The uh, nine volt charging ports on this AccuPower charger analyzer are only for nickel metal hydride. So uh, it could actually be dangerous to put a lithium ion cell on there. The other thing is that these are charge only for the 9 volt ports. Uh, they produce a 30 milliamp charge rate that is fixed. You can't change anything about it. And uh, it has a little green light that goes off when, they're, when the charging is complete. But that's about all it's for. So it really has very minimal um, 9 volt charging capabilities. But still, for the money, uh, I paid uh, a little over $30 for it. I think I paid like $35 from... Uh, user uh, on eBay. Uh, I'd encourage you to take a look at them out there. They are sold on Amazon too, but I, 
eBay seems to have been the uh, cheapest source for me. Uh, highly recommend this charger. Very good uh, capabilities for the money. I've been using it for several months now, and it's uh, it's very reliable. So I'd recommend you get it, and uh, hope you enjoy using it. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Thanks.